What's up? Welcome to Pirate Studios. Thanks for being here. If you like this content, if you like this channel, please hit the subscribe button. So, let's get right to it. Yes, you read that title correctly. Glenn Fricker of Spectre Sound Studios did mix my song. And he actually did it, he did it three years ago, live on his channel. It was so cool. He is a big mentor, recording mentor for me, and um, all the stuff that I've learned about recording is because of him. And uh, it, I had, I sent, my bass player at the time actually sent a recording in to one of his uh, mix, you know, live streams to listen to to people's mixes we sent him sent it to him and he liked it um upon first hearing it and he actually contacted me and wanted to know if if he could mix remix the song live on his channel and i was like what yeah hell yeah do it yeah and i the only thing i asked for was i said can i have the final mix that you do of the song and he said yeah and um so I, I did get that, and uh, I've still got it, and it's it's great. I, I'm I'm so so thankful for all the great knowledge that he's given for free. I might add, and I'm gonna leave a bunch of his video links in my description, so you can get the same information that I got, and um, hopefully you can get as much out of it as I have. Um, I did pretty good. I mean, it's I'm not a pro, and um, I'm just a, I'm a singer and guitar player and songwriter, and uh, I just, you know, I wanted to be able to record my music and have it the best sounding as I can for ever, for the whole world to hear, as much, many people as, as I can. Um, so yeah, I'll leave his guitar recording video, uh, videos, links in the description, and all the drum series and all that stuff, where I got all my info. And... Uh, I just wanted to clear some things up about the live stream that have been bothering me. This happened three years ago, um, and um, it's been bothering me, and I just need to address it because I just feel kind of uh, like a jackass. Um, before I get to that, I just wanted to say um, that I took and watched the video, his tutorial videos, and I took his direct settings for the drums on the EQs and the compression and stuff and then I tweaked it from there I talked to him on uh, discord um, a little bit after he did the mix and um, I messed up and I told him that uh, that I just copied him completely and he he laughed and he goes maybe I should charge for my settings and uh, but that was not true I, I I I I used it as a baseline and then I tweaked from there I mean um, you, you can't tweak it. You can't make everything the exact same because not everything is the same circumstances. Basically, um, I used um, I used these certain mics on the drums, um, the snare. I used an SM57 and this mic. Um, I got this from a friend years ago. I've tried to look it up. I'm not sure. It's a Sure BG 4.0. It's a condenser. And it just sounds awesome. It sounds awesome on snare, and I use it. I use it right here on my cab. I actually used it on on the cab for the recording. I'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, this mic is just awesome. I got it from a friend for free, and it was just we didn't know anything about it, but it, I just hooked it up and it worked great. Um, and so I used that and an SM57. I put them on a uh, Wilkinson clip. Um, next, next to a chair right on the snare. Um, the snare um, is a pork pie cherry babinga. Um, and then the kick, going by Glenn's recommendations, I bought an Audix D6. Um, and he's he he was he's right. I mean it's a, it's a great mic, and. Um, I've got videos that are going to come out, or by the time you see this, you, they may already be out, showing how I'm gonna, how I'll mic everything up, and I'm going to go through that whole process. Anyway, so I did this, and then he's got another video showing how you can make a sub kick, and uh, I went by that, and um, me and my bass player at the time, we made our own sub kick. I had a subwoofer 
that um, my uncle gave me, and I took it out, and we re-rigged it up and put a mic, soldered a mic cable onto it, and uh, and it worked great. So that 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 kick mic for the close up, and then um, the sub kick for the low. Um, the toms I used another obviously suggestion of Glenn on his fifteen hundred dollar recording uh, challenge video. That link will be in the description also. Um, this is the Samson Tom mics. I bought this um, Samson DK703 kit online. It's just uh, DK703 because it's just three Tom mics. And then I bought a fourth Tom mic because that particular song, um, I wanted Dale, the, the drummer, to use all four Toms. Why? I don't know, because I'm a guitar player. <laughs> So, um, and then the overheads, I used these, uh, a pair of, match pair of these. This is a Behringer C2. Um, I've got this on my audio right now, actually, the other one. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> um, and then the room mic, I think this was before I had my vocal mic, which is a Lewitt 440 Pure. Wow, what a mic. I still haven't bought another one. I'm, I'm going to buy another one because it's such a great mic. So all I And I didn't have enough inputs at the time. So all I had in, uh, inputs was I used this uh, MXL 990 for the room mic. It's This is my first condenser mic, vocal mic, that I ever bought. Well, that I ever got. It's a pack. It comes this one, and then it has a, a toothpick condenser small diaphragm mic 2 that comes with it. It's, it's pretty good. But this isn't the best, um, and I didn't really realize it till later on down the road till you compare it to, um, to more expensive microphones. But it did the job. It was a room. It was a room mic, and it, it, it was just a, a solo one. Anyway, so let's get to the meat of the matter. Um, there was some things that Glenn had to deal with throughout the live stream of remixing the song. And I feel bad for him. It sucks. <laughs> this, um, I just got to say that um, this was kind of last minute. He hit me up on uh, Discord, I believe, or maybe it was Patreon. I was on, I was on his Patreon at the time. And he wanted to do it the next day. And I was like, oh, okay, um, Maybe it may have not been in the next day. It may have just been a week. Anyway, it was kind of last minute for me, and um, I didn't have things set up. I didn't have my stuff set up to be sent to anybody. I didn't think this was going to happen. I mean, it was kind of a dream come true for um, him to do that, for him to mix one of my songs, me and my band songs. They're not just mine, but... Um, it was, wow, it was so incredible, and it's so good that I can go back and watch it any time. But he had he had trouble with um, just the way my tracks were named, and, you know, who the, because Andy, <laughs> it's, it's hilarious to me. And uh, I got my tracks named LeBron for me. That's my name, by the way, LeBron. Um, but, yeah, I had that stuff set up just for me, and I wasn't, I wasn't planning on sending it off to anybody. So And I was in a hurry to get it to him. So, um, and I was just learning how to uh, do stems and consolidate everything and do the project files and all that stuff. And uh, he helped me through, he was helping me through that back and forth too. I wish we had a, I wish we would have had a better way to communicate via audio. Um, I, he probably didn't want me to have his number or something. That's, that's, I understand that. If we were to do audio on Messenger or something, that would have been better. But uh, he's a busy guy, and I, I understand. I, I just, I just wanted to explain these things. Um, so there's that. And then uh, the biggest thing in the video um, is the snare. <laughs> wow, he spent an hour or more messing with that snare, about the big ring that's in the snare. It's funny because the first time he heard the song on the mix reviews, he loved the snare. <laughs> he says it in the video. He's like, man, I love that snare. And he, he loved the song. But, man, as soon as he got where he could hear that microphone, he all by itself, he hated it. <laughs> so, and um, like I said, it was this it was this 
at first, when he first listened to this mic all by itself on that snare, it, like I said, it's a pork pie cherry babenga. He was like, oh, I really like this mic. We're going to do some cool stuff with this mic. And then he once he heard that, that ring, he just he hated it. And um, I just had to say, my recording, if you listen to it, and I'll, I'm going to leave just in the description the link to that, and you can listen to the original recording. Um, and it'll have his mix, uh, final mix of it too, in the description on Dropbox or uh, Google Drive. Um, but if you if you listen to my recording, you can't hear that ring at all. Once you mix it with the whole drums and mix it with the whole song, you just don't hear it anymore. And if you do, you just you just got a better ear than I do because I, I just don't hear it. So, but you know it's all good. But I I just wanted to address that. If I just wish. He wouldn't have harped on it so much. Um, but anyway, and then just the last thing that I, I really feel stupid about is the guitar. I messed up. I sent him the guitar tracks, the original guitar tracks. I recorded with this cab. We recorded um, with an EVH um, 6L6. Yeah, 6L6 one on the right side through this cab, which... It's, obviously, it's got V30s in it. And then the left side was an uh, amp that I don't have anymore, which is a B52 ATX 100 head. And it was going through. What I did is I had an SM57 on one side, and then this other side I had this mic. And I recorded it in. I recorded twice on, on my left side, and then Andy recorded twice on the right side. And I went in and recorded it as stereo. So left side, you know, stereo. Left side's one mic, and right side's SM57. Well, I should have split them up and just had like eight tracks. So and I and like I said, I could have, I guess I could have told him that, but we were, I was in such a hurry to get him the stuff, and I just didn't tell him that. So he wound up uh, scrapping it, and uh, I sent him. Me and Andy re-recorded dry tracks, and uh, sent him those, and that's why he reamped. So they're not this, the guitar tone's not heavy like it should be. It's not supposed to sound like classic rock. It's supposed to sound as heavy as you can get it. It's in this, the tuning of the song is half step down. So and it's in the standard. It's not a drop. So you know how heavy can you get it? Some other songs that I'm going to leave in the description that I recorded same session. Uh, we're in half step drop D and the guitar tones is recorded the same way and they sound much better. Anyway, so that's pretty much the whole video. I just wanted to explain some things and uh, tell you what stuff I used. And the reason I wanted to tell you about what mics I used is so you'll have a good idea. He was supposed to leave stems and project files and all that for anybody that wanted to remix the song themselves. Well, I'm leaving you that in the description. So you can download it and you can remix it all you want. And uh, I'm going to list the... Um, I'm going to list the mics and all that that I used so you'll know and uh, you can remix it and hit me up leave in the comments what you think about the song what you think about uh, you know how your mixes are going I'd like to hear it if you want to send me some mixes uh, there's a email for pirate studios in the description I appreciate it and uh, let's continue to help each other and make music great thanks yeah!